Well, good morning. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. River says hi to. Oh, it's uh, start of another day, and today's a bit more um, exciting than other days that we've had because today we are moving on. We're finally leaving Plank Lane and heading down uh, probably in for Dunham Massey today um, and then a couple of short tops over the Bridgewater and then back onto the Trenton Mersey and onwards down towards Oxford with stop, plenty stops along the way for trading. But this journey up here has been kind of like tying up loose ends uh, and like we've mentioned previously saying goodbye to family because it's probably going to be a year or two before we're back up this way so we won't see some family for a while so uh, that was the whole purpose of that but that's now done we went uh, into town yesterday did all the shopping so we're fully stocked with food we've been this morning and picked up water so uh, yeah everything that needs to be empty is empty everything that needs to be full is full so it's uh, Time to get going, I think. Let's crack on. Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, this is it, we're leaving this area now. And uh, for me, this is the proper start of our adventure now. Uh, you know, it starts off properly. We've started to trade, and now that we've tied up all our loose ends and said goodbye to family, now we can travel on. Now we can go and explore all these new canals, new sites, uh, new places to trade, meet new people. Uh, so for me, that's really exciting. Louise is a little bit saddened that we're leaving this area um, she's not going to see family uh, for a while now and uh, you know that, that that's not, not so much upsetting but just saddened uh, about that but she's still looking forward to the adventure and the excitement of that so a little bit bittersweet for Louise but for me um, yeah, I've seen my family um, and, and, and that's it, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the excitement uh, of new adventures. And it all starts with us going this way. Well, this is uh, it for the Leeds Liverpool. This is the Leeds Liverpool Lee branch. Just in front of us now, as you've seen, is Lee Bridge, and that is the start of the Bridgewater Canal heading uh, southwards down towards Preston Brook, where it meets up with the Trenton Mersey. So, uh, this is it. Bye bye to the Leeds Liverpool. trying something it's mid-morning and Lou's made uh, bacon butties and a brew obviously Malk's traveling on his own so we're trying a uh, mid canal while we're still moving handover so Malk's gonna breast up with us and we're gonna pass this bacon butty over apparently let's see how this goes
That was a success. I don't think we caught it on camera though, I think we just went out of shot, but yeah, we made the handover, so Malcolm has now got his brew and bacon butty. Well, we're in the UK, look, there's tanks over there. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, scraping all around the boat now. Uh, the hippie boat. Um, no, some of you who are already on the canals will already know about the hippie boat. But those that aren't or are not in this country might not know about them, but they're fellow traders as well. Uh, they sell all hippie style clothing. They do really well travelling around. Uh, I was speaking to them the other day on Facebook. I believe they're actually heading up to uh, Plank Lane for trade where we were. Uh, this weekend, so uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Uh, hope you have a, a good weekend like we did. The plan today is um, try and get to Dunham Massey, I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, the reason for that is um, it's kind of out in the countryside, it's lovely moorings, it's nice and quiet, um, but I want to try and get a bit of work done on Lady Bryan. As you've seen previous, we've started to paint the roof. Um, I need some more paint and I can only get that in the next day or two. Uh, one of the chandleries that we passed stocks the paint so uh, I'm going to pick that up there so we can carry on painting the roof from there but um, I've got some uh, paint restorer and some polish and some polishing machines and uh, yeah it's time to give Lady Brian a bit of a clean a wash and a polish and get her colour popping um, as she should be ready for uh, ready for the summer season so uh, try and get a bit of that winter grime off. Um, I've been wanting to do it over the last few days, but with the weather being so hot, it's been too hot, and the, the metal of the boat has been too hot to do any kind of polishing. So today's a little bit cooler. Um, we've got a little bit of shelter with some trees at Dunham Massey, so hopefully we'll be able to get that done later on today. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how we go. It depends how long we've got. We've probably got about another five hours to go yet so uh, yeah we might be pushing it for time today but certainly over the next couple of days that's that's one intention we'll uh, get the boat clean Well, it's gone a bit chilly now, so put an extra layer on. 
We moored up uh, on the Sail Strait, obviously coming through Sail, um, just outside of Manchester, and we've not got long, we've probably got about an hour or so to go. Um, but just behind where Malk's moored though, there's a coffee boat. So we decided to uh, have a bit of a break, let the dogs off for a, uh, a toilet break. Um, we can all have toilet breaks and we'll support the uh, local boat trade, have a coffee and then uh, move on again. So uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. Coffee break over and uh, well hot chocolate with lots of cream and lots of little marshmallows on top. Not for me. <laughs> Lee's chirping up, Lee's just down here, hang on, let's see if we can uh... <laughs> Lou's here. <laughs> and she's uh, she's telling me no not for me. Lou isn't a uh, bells and whistles on her hot chocolate, just a plain simple hot chocolate for Lou. For me Fill it with cream, fill it with marshmallows. But yeah, um, it's just the boat up there, I don't know whether you can see it up there. Uh, and the company's called Walton Perk because it's moored up outside Walton Park. And I think it's going to a central perk from the old Friends series. So um, yeah, really nice hot chocolates and uh, a nice location. I don't know about stopping here overnight. Um, we've never stopped here overnight uh, because we've always been told it can be a bit dodgy and a bit unsavoury uh, of a night time but I've never done it myself so you know take that with a pinch of salt if you're coming this way but if you're coming this way and you want a brew that's definitely the, uh, the place to stop for a brew right next stop Dunham Massey I don't know whether I'm going to have enough time to get the boat polished tonight. That might have to go on for another night, but uh, we'll see when we get there. Well, as you can gather, we're here, we've finally made it to Dunham. Um, it took us a little bit longer than anticipated, I think. Um, but we had the stop in sale, so yeah, not bothered about that. But it's beautiful. There's not a noise other than the birds tweeting. So uh, yeah, I love this spot. It's nice for it to be back out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit later, so we're not going to uh, wash the boat. So we've decided what we are going to do is um, forage for a bit of firewood. We're going to get the fire pit out and uh, have a little bit of a campfire and sit around that instead. So uh, that's the next job. We're going to get the dogs off. The dogs can have a wee. Um, and I'm going to forage a bit of firewood and we'll have a nice evening uh, it's warmed up a little bit now and the sun's breaking through so going to enjoy the peace and quiet of the countryside well what a difference a day makes eh? Um, we had a nice night uh, just around the campfire only had an hour or two no alcohol involved we don't have to have alcohol to have a good time we just sit and chill around the fire pit and that was nice 
Uh, but it's raining, or it has been raining this morning and the forecast is for rain for the rest of the day. But we have to move. We want to get on and get down to Anderton so we can trade at Anderton. Um, whether we will or not, trade that is, we don't know. There's very limited moorings down at Anderton, so you know it's just a case of first come first served uh, and at this point in time we're still on uh, the 14 day mooring all the winter mooring it's all 14 days at the minute so where we want to go it's still 14 days so boats could still be on there but we don't know until we get there the thing is we have to move today so don't know if that's picking up but we're in full wet weather gear because we are going to get wet today and the aim is to get off the bridge water altogether today and get down to uh, Dutton where the breach was, where we've been before because uh, it's a nice view, it's nice moorings and we've got good internet. Um, we've had bad internet here at the moment which has led us to our problems uploading our videos. So uh, yeah, we need to get some good internet. So that's the plan for today. You can probably tell by I don't know where the camera's picking up that you can see my breath. It's absolutely Baltic. We've gone from shorts and t-shirt and today, whoa, it's freezing. So, uh, welcome to spring, I suppose. Right, come on, let's chat in, let's get going. Bit of a change as you can see lose on the tiller oh, i think you can see that lose on the tiller we're having to use the gopro because of uh, the rain and it doesn't let me see what i'm recording so hopefully you can see that lee's on, uh, lee lose on the tiller um i've been inside editing uh, some video while i can um, and trying to get that uploaded we're getting into an area now where we, we're starting to get internet so hopefully that's gonna be able to upload to youtube because where we were at dunham we just didn't have any internet for some reason so uh yeah luke kindly decided to take the tiller and brave the cold while i was editing in the warmth so uh now it's time for luke to go and get warm and me to get cold just as we get to the nice little village of Lynn. Well, that's me back on the tiller. I'll tell you what, oh, Lou's done well. It's icy cold out here today. It's not exactly warm, but there's an icy cold breeze, so uh, yeah, she did well for, <laughs> for as long as she's done while I've edited that video. Blimey, I've only been on here for about five minutes and I'm already chilled to bone. Oh. We need to get some fuel today. Um, not overly desperate, but I do like to keep my tanks filled. Um, and quite a surprise it looks like the uh, red diesel prices have come down uh, we've done a bit of phoning around to some of the places where we can get diesel on our way down uh, and we can get it at £1.35 which is cheaper than we've been getting it anywhere else uh, and we've been told that the diesel prices are coming down so as everybody's new uh, diesel supplies come in the price should be coming down I mean £1.35 isn't great you know we're all singing and dancing that we're not paying £1.50 £1.60 um, and we're happy that it's £1.35 but considering that not that long ago it was only you know 90 odd p it was definitely sub a pound it's still uh, it's still a bit of a hit but we need it 
and uh, with this temperature I think we're going to have to put the fire back on the fire's not been on for over a week so that saved us a good bit of diesel so uh, we're going to get that from Stockton Heath from uh, our friends at Thorn Marine so we'll stop there for some diesel and then uh, we're off again Well, we're here at uh, Thorn Marine and we've just been getting our diesel. You see Westmoreland's uh, on the diesel point. He's just been uh, getting some diesel. And I think uh, just up there at the side of the building, that's the Elson point. So I think Mark's just emptied his toilet out. So yeah, there, that's Thorn Marine. So we're uh, fully fueled up. So we've just been told that underneath this piece of tarmac here, where this ends, up to probably about there, it's all hollow underneath. If a car drove over it or anything like that, it would collapse. And underneath there are still the steps that lead from the canal that used to go to this building. Now these here used to be the stables for when the boats were horse drawn. And if the horse fell in, these steps here are where they could get the horse out. And underneath that tarmac, they still exist. There you go. A little bit of history. a look we've just made the tunnel we're at Preston Brook tunnel bye bye Bridgewater Canal uh, you can go south on the half hour and north on the hour and we've got three minutes to spur to get through so uh, I'm gonna put this down and concentrate on getting in here without pinballing it all through sides I'll see you on the other side So we've finally made it through Preston Brook Tunnel, we've made it through Dutton Stoplock, all which you've seen before so I haven't filmed it. Uh, and we're about one or two bends away from our final destination, which is uh, the moorings where the breach was at Dutton. Um, and we're going to stay there for the night and then move on again tomorrow, or at least that's the plan. Um, we'll see what the weather's like. Um, I believe there's talk of it going down to um, zero degrees. So it's going to get cold. So uh, unfortunately some of that diesel we bought will be going up the chimney tonight. Uh, because I am not being cold for anybody. So uh, yeah just got to get around these bends we'll get moored up there and then get settled and sorted <laughs> 